Yo, T Rex, bring it down a little bit, man. Hey, shout out to my DJ today, uh, T Rex, man. Live from Pinups, you know. Uh, that's one of my used to be one of my favorite strip clubs. Matter of fact, I used to dance there. Oh, that was back when I used to goddamn go buy um, <laughs> a, a coffee cake. I used to put peanut butter all on my chest, let the girls lick it off and whatnot. It's easy to make sure you holding them dollar bills on there when you got your peanut butter on you and everything. But that's a whole nother story. That's a whole nother life, man. But uh, you just heard that music, man. It's one of the most talented, aggressive. Uh, 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 females that I've ever seen mm -hmm. in a long time and whatnot. I mean, uh, she fine as hell. She be talking that shit. I seen her on online uh, babysitting and rapping <laughs> and freestyling and goddamn selling dope. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She, she, uh, I, uh, uh, I didn't heard a song on P Valley. Mm -hmm. every, every time it come on, that's her. That's her right there, man. And I was wondering who was doing that shit too. I was like, where they get this from? Cause it's so abstract. But I got her in the building today. I always wanted to meet her ever since I saw her riding on the passenger side of her best friend's ride with Ti and whatnot. They had dropped the song, and she here right now. Juicy fruit is gonna move ya. <laughs> Got the taste to get right to ya. Juicy fruit. The taste, the taste, the taste is gonna move ya. There you go. Yeah. Come on, man. What's going on with you? Man, I'm sorry about that long ass intro. No, nah, you good, you good. Dude. That'll work. That, that'll work. Okay, man. How you been? I've been good. Working, moving. Man, I'm so happy to have you on this show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I said, ever since I seen the, the video, I'm like, I gotta meet this girl. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta meet her and whatnot. I I um I I I, I, I watched the show mm -hmm. uh, the uh, uh, P Valley. It's a guilty pleasure. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Everybody say whatever they want to say about the show and whatnot. But hey, man, you can't have it all in every show. Goddamn. Big ups to you. You want? Know yeah, saying? it's a it's Yo. a great show at the same time. <laughs> Thank you. It is God. what it is. <laughs> It is what it is. You know, just fast forward the parcel. Just fast forward you get what I'm saying? Hey, one time, though, I, I think I was paralyzed in the bed. I was so shocked, I couldn't even find a remote. I was trying to... I was looking around, it was just got too crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it was the episode, homeboy had the condom in his mouth. Oh, shit. <laughs> I know exactly which one you talking about. I was like, what the fuck? I, I was so frozen, I couldn't... Because it was like, hold on, wait, finna, they this probably not finna yet. This but, ain't they probably oh. finna do this. <laughs> Because they, they don't even they don't even do that with, with with the with the boy and the girl. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. They don't. I ain't never seen no chick on TV put a condom in her mouth. Oh huh, no! Nah, I've ne but they, they go here on people. That was You ain't uh uh nah. They were full throttle with it. Yeah, man. Dog. What? what the? <laughs> <laughs> they was like, yeah, we finna turn up. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, uh, yeah, yeah. It was uh. <laughs> Oh, shit. I ain't gonna even run. I, I was glad when that nigga got shot on that show. I ain't glad. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's enough of him. I guess we ain't got to see no more of that. <laughs> nope, that was a lie. <laughs> nigga found an old another boyfriend that was Man, on. Oh, God. Yeah. Hey, and the beat goes on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Hey, man. Mm -hmm. Yo, so how, how did you even even like submit for a show like that to get your, your song played on there? She called me. She called me on uh, This Is Before Atlantic. This is like right after Shake That Ass was doing what he was doing. And she called, cause originally they wanted Shake That Ass. And I was still going through stuff cause it's not my song originally. You get what I'm saying? So I was like, well, since I can't give you that, I just make you song. You get what I'm saying? And she was like, oh, you would do that? I was like, hey, yeah, yeah, you know? So Why she wouldn't the fuck me, you do that? She, not, cause, Why you know, wouldn't you do it? When they got their mind, like, mm -hmm. you got certain artists that be like, nah, that's why. That's how you want. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, but, I, I've heard them stupid ass stories before. Nah, I wasn't on none of that. Hell, nah, I wasn't on none of that. You wasn't going to play them games. What? Though. Nah, she, showed, she was like, once I seen she was excited about it. We sat there, we tackled it, we came back with like six, seven songs, she picked five, and within five, she used five of them, and one of the songs, the intro. Wow. Yep. She used all five? Yep. On, on something on yep. there? Yep, and every year when she, whenever she doing a new season or any of this, she hit me and be like, we need, we need new music, what you got for me, oh God. God damn, that's what's up, man. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Couture. She yeah, she changed my life with that one. 
That is that is crazy. Like, what? Where you even meet her to do? Did you even put put, put your bed in? I did. I did. Like, okay, so I'm guessing her husband heard shake that ass. My okay. Bad. I guess her husband heard her shake the I like the way that song even you go yeah, you know, already. Yeah, like, I hated that song. I like, swear that, like... I like shaking that ass. I didn't want to be well, not me, statistic. But, you, yeah, yeah. He said, well, not me. <laughs> yeah. Nah, you like what it make, what it make yeah. you do up in well, the corner. Even club. when I was yeah. dancing, I wasn't twerking. No, I so wasn't weird. twerking when I was you dancing. So Let me find out no. you was in the corner like, Ugh. No, I was, I, was, I, was, I was that stripper that was moonwalking and shit, oh, doing shit. all that ticket. You was the... Yeah, I was that. I was like one of the weirdest fucking... Stripper dancers oh, ever and shit. I was doing a whole bunch of. You would have thought I was a goddamn battling somebody, <laughs> crumping on stage and shit and all that. Like, what the fuck is this nigga doing? Oh, I, I was the worst stripper ever because I used to get butt naked on the first song. <laughs> Nobody ain't even tipped me yet. You ain't even give them nothing to think ain't, about. I ain't warm you up nothing. Yeah. I ain't warm up nothing. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I was just doing what I saw on TV. You know what I'm saying? When, when Genuine came out with Pony, I was like, nigga, this is my time to shine. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. I, 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 I had three songs. The three songs, I went out to goddamn Splat Pack, Splat Pack, Screw Up the Ground. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You be tired after that, that, that shit. Yeah, yeah, Long yeah, as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> then, then I don't know why the fuck I did this shit, because I was trying, I had to wind down and get my breath back. Uh-huh. So D'Angelo, how does it feel? So I'm already butt naked on soft okay. on stage. A soft as hell. I'm talking about, I'm just mushrooming balls up there. You know? Wow. And once I caught my breath, I was back ticking again to goddamn Michael Jackson. Keep on. Ticket, don't stop. Yeah. Don't stop till you what? Uh, Keep on. Uh, yeah. Uh. yeah, I was getting it, boy. Getting it. Like, man, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga? Man? Yeah, with the peanut butter on my chest, it was that too much. That would have been a sight to see, oh God. Yeah, it, it was too much, man. I was doing too much. Yeah, yeah. Good old days. Hey, but enough about me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, uh, her husband, her husband heard, I guess he heard the song and you know, seeing what it was doing. And after he put her on me, I guess she checked out. She checked out some of my work, and she was like, "One of my mixtapes hip hop get through one of the hardest times in her life." Mm. So it was like, "Damn!" So you know, you know, juicy, juicy. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah. first mixtape type stuff, and I ain't even heard it in so long. Mm. So oh, it was some shit that you had forgot you even made. I wouldn't say forgot some shit that I hate. I ain't gonna even say I hate I made because you know you elevate, but it was just old, like not mixed, like. Tell me, I just went in like first try. You get what I'm saying? Mm, mm. But it, it it was done so passionately and like mm. you know genuinely. I mm. guess people gravitated to it and they they liked that sound. Mm. And like I said, she did. She called us up. We pulled up Type Pair Studio. She showed me the episode, and I presented. And it was dead on there. And the, and the show here dropped on my birthday. The first the time it dropped, I swear to God. When your like, birthday is? July the twelfth. Hey. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, oh God, council guy. Just the, that's your birthday? <laughs> just the backpack, just the backpack on what she's saying. I've heard a lot of women in the club say, Juicy got me through some tough times. Real, like she liked the Mary J. Blige for entertainers. I fuck with that. I yeah. never heard Damn. that. I, I fuck with people that. through tough times. Man, he trying to get some pussy, man. <laughs> no, no, not at all. He, that, 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 that was good, too. I'm going to steal that. Yeah, I, I, I play the music. Like, shake that ass with one of them songs you I'm hold. I'm when the crowd go dead yeah. and you want to get the girl's energy back into mm-hmm. it, that's the song you play. <laughs> oh, God, let Word. go. <laughs> I didn't know that, man. Yeah. Yeah. You got to play Shake That Ass again. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. Fuck with that. Word, word, word. I, I, I like this already. Uh, so, like, um, you got to put me on. I gotta mm-hmm. Make me understand. Mm-hmm. What was the problem with Shake That Ass? Why, why, why couldn't you get that clear? Wouldn't it be advantageous for both parties, whoever else was on the song? Too? How do I put this? Um, man, say fuck so, that nigga, man. It's all good. Nah, cause he cool people. You get what I'm saying? We came from the city, right? Mm-hmm. And this is it. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna take away his shine, cause he, he still. Like, oh, I don't he know a who good, it is. I, just he so, a good when nigga. I was, I was, I don't know who you is. Nah. When I say fuck you <laughs> and whatnot. But yeah, I, I don't mean fuck. I was just saying that's how she felt. Just in case you a killer. Oh, you Just in case he a killer. I don't know. I, you don't need nah, like that. Did you say fuck people. me on that show, nigga? He no, I was people. saying that she wanted to say that. Because it's a girl. You're not going to kill a girl. You're not going to kill a girl. I fuck with you. You funny. <laughs> Nah, Zazilla, he called me up and he was like, Sis, I need you to go. Oh, Zazilla? Yeah. That's my nigga, man. Yeah, yeah man. Fuck <laughs> you, nigga. Man, oh, I know. Man, that's my. <laughs> 
I didn't okay. Ah. That's my homeboy. Yeah, him. Okay. So he called. Why and, the fuck would he do that? Nigga, you stupid. No, nah, it wasn't on a look, look, look. It went on him. Okay. It went on him. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm I wouldn't about. say it fully was on him. Yeah. And I can say it was the people that was around him that was doing too much. Okay. And when I did the song, like I said, I did the song quick. I didn't care for it. I did it because he asked me. Mm. I didn't know it was going to do what it did. Mm. He put me on the first verse. He put me on the hook. Yeah. Like, he, he put he, that he shit He know together. how to make a song. You get what I'm saying? That nigga know how to make yeah, a song. Yeah, he hard. Like, he did that, so... He was being greedy, wasn't he? Nah, it was a lot of people caught. It was a lot of... Like I said, I don't think it was him. It was more of it a thing. Him. It was him. I don't was... think... I don't, I don't know. I don't want to put the blame on because yeah. me and him didn't talk and we didn't came to agreement at this point, but I had to check him. Okay, you checked at him. At one point. What you said? What you said? Nah, because he got on the internet. I don't know what went on. Yeah, yeah. He got on the internet and it made a post. Look fuck, nigga. Nah, he... like this. Look here. Oh, nah. I made a song. I made a song. It's called Rumors. It's out. But he had me mad because he got on Instagram and he decided to make a post saying, uh, and if I feature, I beat you. Basically, like, he fucked me. I ain't never fucked for no feature in my life and never will. So... I had to check. That's what. Him that's on. what that means. What if you? If I feature, I beat you. That's what you should. What that me? sound like? It, like he, I thought well, he could have beat your ass. Uh, uh, he could have beat me. You gonna like, beat my ass? Then put me on the song. It's a. It's, I'm it's a, a female now. It's happened. It's happened. Nah. Uh, I Turner did it. Kenneth, <laughs> shout out. Uh, rest in peace, Kenneth Turner. Okay. Uh, oh my God, you. That's not, that's not what you was talking about. You ball. <laughs> no, that's not no. And he knew what he meant because he deleted it. Oh, shit. He deleted it afterwards. So after that, it was like I couldn't get an answer from him. So I did the song. I let my feelings be known. But it's like motherfuckers was trying to stop traction. was like, oh, you can't use Shake That Ass as a promotion, da-da-da. And it was just extra shit going on. And we was trying to get him on. Thank you. We mm. was trying to get him on shows. Like people were booking me. And I still, oh, okay, you going to bring him too. Mm. You get what I'm saying? They like, what well, he try You know, I'm still making sure he get him money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I ain't know none of that shit. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if it had something to do with testosterone or any of it, but you ain't have to embarrass the nigga though. You could have been like, you could have asked me nicely, like, hey, may I have some pussy, please? What? May, I, may I beat it, please? Because he was rude. That no, rude. it didn't. That, that but that came after the song had already went viral yeah. though. Like, it's like basically, bro, you want some, like, you don't like the attention that's coming from it, but, bro, I'm trying to make sure we what both you mean the attention? What do you mean the attention? Bro, like it went viral. Like mo- motherfucker was saying it was my song. Oh, that's like, okay, guys. You get what I'm saying? They like basically yeah. like I took over the song yeah. and da da da. But once again, he yeah. put me first. Once again, he put me on the hook. That shit, that monster. He did that. Yeah, yeah. He heard that, oh, that shit. That, that was ego. And that put it on there. Gotcha. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. something different. But even then, I'm, I'm pretty sure if I would have called him and been like, P Valley want to use it. He want to curb, but. At that moment, like I said, he did what he did on the post. I did what I did, came out with my song. And then I I want to say we was getting into the situation with Atlantic, so we was working something out with the paperwork anyway. Man, you should have let that nigga lie on the dick, man. <laughs> Everybody. You, you ain't have to take that away from that what? nigga like that. Hey. No, no, hey. sir. No, sir, Real man. Talk, even in my laptop right now, is <laughs> Juicy Fruit featuring... <laughs> Oh boy, for real, dick. And, and I didn't type that in. Hey, you, why you call him old boy? Why you uh, had to call him old boy? Because I mean, he, he like I don't it, know that man. I ain't speaking. He like no, that's what it say on the computer. <laughs> you actually say old boy. <laughs> no, no, no. Featuring, you know, Zed. That's what it says in the computer. When you pull it up, you don't look up that song by Zed. You shout look up that song by Juice. Shout mm-hmm. out to Zed Zilla, man. I fuck with him. Hey man, I'm just playing. I'm fucking with you now. You know I'll be playing. You know I'll be playing with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No shade, but I'm just saying. Come up. So that's why every every DJ in Atlanta swear. That's her song. Right, right. Until she she's told aggressive. Me she real aggressive. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> you real aggressive, yeah. No, nah, we did you the paperwork for it. Like we got it done. You yeah, get what yeah. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, and they and we paid for it. Yeah. So she, it was like, okay, that's what we gonna do. And we went with the move. Now after that, we shot the video and we were cool in the video. Okay. All of it. Then you let him. But move. I had the. Did he, nah. did he come up behind you on your ass and everything in the video? <laughs> no, he didn't even get nowhere near me. We was. Oh, you, we you, shot. you gave him the look already, like. <laughs> Niggas don't look. Niggas respect me. Like you, you, niggas, you don't have no. I'm scared of you. No, it, I'm scared of you. Not at a fur. It's just like, bro, I'm a real. Like I don't do too much. You get what I'm saying? Like don't do that, bro. Don't lie on me. I don't lie on my cat. Don't lie on your dick. Like you don't. Win. You get what I'm saying? Like I don't move that way. Right, right, right. <laughs> I'm gonna still keep. I'm gonna keep lying on my dick, man. Fuck all that. <laughs> 
Hey man, you know you know how many people still think I fuck Janet Jackson? No shit. <laughs> <laughs> To this day. Stand to this strong, day. my nigga. To this stand day, strong. goddamn shit. I'm the pleasure principal. Let's wait a while. Nah, not me. I hit the first night. You know, go ahead. I'm sorry. It's, it's about you, though. Uh, you funny. No, nah, but that's how they, that's how they went. There were no problems with it. And I ain't, like, I wanted to do my own little shit, and it's a good thing that I did because I'm on the intro. Gotcha. And that's something that can't nobody take from me. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like it's my, monumental, man. That shit yeah. is like. <laughs> thank you. Thank I, you. I, it's so abstract and what now? You know, I never heard a uh, uh, a song like. It's actually scary. Yeah, that's and that's how she wanted it. Like I said, she described what she wanted. She make the, the strip club scarier than the month. Yo, like, when it's know. coming on, you hearing ghost bells. Yeah, and, yeah. I was like, is we sure? She was like, no, this the fear that we want. Yeah. So then when the beat drop, it's like. Hold on, this shit's scary, but I'm feeling like, yeah, like one of them type of I don't want none of them hoes dancing for me. Them <laughs> <laughs> motherfuckers scared as shit. <laughs> what a, yo. <laughs> Nigga. You know yo, you can't. You know what it reminds me of? I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, it put me in the, the mind frame of um, some Freddy Krueger type yeah. shit. <laughs> One, One, strip club. two, Freddy's coming, coming for, for you. you. Yeah, yeah that type of <laughs> nigga. Hey, that's hard. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. I like that. The bitch come off that pole with some fucking Wolverine <laughs> shit and goddamn chop everybody dick off. <laughs> you come up there with a, you come up there with not enough money if you want to. That's <laughs> funny. Shit off. Yeah, that shit is. Uh, you got to do a video for that. I did. You did a video for that song? Mm-hmm. I did a, it's a mixture of that song and um No Broke Dick. No we bro- shot them in the same, we shot them in the same day around the same little vibe because it's like, the song I number like, with like a, not even a minute or so. What is it like? 111? Yeah, like 111. it's. 111.7? It's cut. So it was like, we got to merge this in with it. You, 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 you too rough on Broke Dick, man. That shit. What the, what? I'm just saying, like, niggas already got it bad enough. What you mean? You know, if I'm in, if I'm in, the, if I'm in the strip club with my hot thirty-two dollars and whatnot, <laughs> you know, like, I, I do. Does that, does that, uh, I qualify as broke nigga? Thirty-two dollars at the strip club. Thirty-two dollars. Yeah, hot thirty-two. Let's say, the, let's say the dances. I'm a blue out. strip bitch. If I was to do, I'm blue strips. If you don't, I don't even want to see a dollar. I want to see hundreds. I'm sorry. Honey. So, if you come with thirty, nah, I wouldn't even look your way. Is that a song? What? Blue strip bitch. No. Can you <laughs> Look make at it. it. He like. <laughs> that, that'll go. Uh, That's we, gone. We gonna keep it in mind. Let go. That's gone. <laughs> but nah, thought it all line. I can't lie, man. I can't even. We can't even conversate, man. Like that ain't. That ain't even the drink. That they ain't got ain't to start off with a honey. Like, got to start off with a honey. Yeah, damn. You, you dance with one before? of them. I I was scared. I ain't gonna cap. I went. I went to do it, and it's crazy because people swear that I started out stripping out of it. I swear to God, I did. I was hoping you. I was. I was. No. Well, I was looking online. I'm trying to find the foot. I couldn't find shit. No, I went. I went to do. I came to Atlanta. Came went to no Atlanta with my friend. Nothing, nothing. You know what made me you not do it? You scrolled all that shit off the line. You know what made me not do it? What was that? They was like, you, you gotta take a, a shot. No, no, nah, hell no. Nah. They wasn't even no free. It was, bro. When they told me. Yeah, you got to do this, you got to do that. When they told me, yeah, you got to do, what is it called, tip out or something? Like, you got to pay? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm finna do what? And y'all, oh, hell Te- nah, man, I call my mama, say, mom, please give me a ticket back to me. I swear to God, I ain't do it. Like, yo, like that part, like, I heard. Ooh, I'm Tell not finna pay. Tell them tip out because a lot of people don't know what tip out is. Basically, the money that you make, there's a balance that you basically got to pay at the at the end of the night. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, I'm not finna, nigga, I'm sitting up here doing, I'm working. Like, nah, I might as well go be, you know, mm-hmm. get pimped or something. Like, I ain't, nah, hell nah. I want all my coins. It's some strip clubs <laughs> out here. Some of them, they tell you, is the, the tip out is like two hundred and fifty dollars, and that shit kind of, that's wild to me. Uh huh. Because what if you only made two seventy five? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then I've heard of some <laughs> shit where they they go by it ain't even about like a, a, a set price. Yeah. It's a percentage, percentage of what you made that night. The like they count your money. Yeah. Is so, that, like, like they see you didn't see you didn't see I'd have been the show, bro, and like it'd be girls up there dancing with me while I'm performing. Yeah. And people be you know throwing money up there, and then you have certain strippers that go and grab in, certain ones that be stopping there, and yeah. like really like 
Nah, bro, when nobody finna do me like this, I was like, nah, I was like, I'm gonna be a rapper with this shit. I was like, nah, bro, I, uh -uh. I couldn't do it. So, yeah, it ain't work for me. I just, God blessed me to go wherever route I went. And we went that way. Like, I never had to, never had to do it, but much respect to the ones that do. Man, much respect to you. You know what I'm saying? Because they make, they make it go round at yeah, the end do. of the day. Yes, they and do. And they some strong individuals. Yeah. I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't. I ain't, my yeah. hell, yeah, no. Yeah. Uh-uh. I couldn't do it, so. Yeah, that's yeah. how they went. Oh, word, word, <laughs> word, 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 word. Um, so, let me ask you this. Uh, when you, when you was about to do it, where were you about to do this at? I was I came to Atlanta. I you came to Atlanta today. I came to Atlanta. I had a friend out here that I ain't cool with no more. And she was Always. doing it. She was doing it and she was like, girl, you gonna have to pop you a little pill, take you, take you like two shots, and then you gonna do it. And then she was like, but at the end of the night, you gotta tip out. And I was like, what what was that? And when she broke it down to me, mm -hmm. I went in the bathroom and I called my mama and I said, give me a ticket. I need to leave. Wow. <laughs> I was like, I need to get, I was like, I need to get a ticket. I was like, I'm ready to go. Like, I can't, I can't do it. Like, I was boo crying. And the person I came down here with, I was like, you going to go in? He was like, I'm going to stay. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go back. So yeah, it went that way. So y'all broke up? No, nah, we ain't break up. We were, we were cool. We were cool people. He ain't here no more. But yeah, okay, gotcha. we were cool people. And I they got me okay. in there. That's who Forever Flyboy Z. That's who I went down there with. That's who I started music with. That's who put me in the studio. This he was a rapper too? right here. Yeah, Flyboy. Gotcha. Look him up, y'all. Should look him up. He was the best, the best, dead or alive. And I stand on it. But nah, he he went down there with me, and I went with somebody that I was comfortable with. He was just going just to you know be support and to make sure didn't happen to me type shit. Like. Yeah, like, yeah. But, nah, we ain't break up. He just said he was going to stay. And, shit, I went back to Memphis. And, we, you know, we got back up with each other when he came back. Oh, you from Memphis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, it makes sense. <laughs> I got it now. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. Where did you think I was from? St. Louis. I thought you was from St. Louis, because mm -hmm. where you say her. Oh, uh, hell no. Yeah, I'm Memphis born and raised, baby. Yeah, hey, okay. Got <laughs> you. That's what's <laughs> up, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Memphis is a rough ass motherfucker to this day, man. You gotta have some tough skin. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, but you know, Memphis is doing its thing right now. It's flourishing with the hip hop going crazy out there. So, y'all alone, like, you know what I'm saying? How do you feel about the scene today? Uh, shit, I feel like it's been the same for years. It's just, it, it is more attention, you know, coming back to Memphis. But I feel like it originated basically from Memphis type shit. Like, Memphis, Houston, all of that. Like, down south, the way that we do shit, our lingo, like, it always caught, you get what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. Memphis was just known for our talent and music. Like, I ain't know that people, I ain't know that Jazzy had, you know, had something to do with the Old Town Road record. I yeah, would have yeah. never thought that, but yeah. she was from Memphis. Right. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of talent in Memphis that people don't know, but it's a lot of crabs in Memphis, too. So it's like, you gotta get out the way and move around. If right. If you wanna succeed in certain things. One hundred percent. Yeah. Um. So when you uh when you decided to move back to Atlanta, mm -hmm. what brought you back? Losing Z. Mm. First my first my my youngest son he had got killed. So then after he got killed, I stayed. I stuck around, you know, and I was doing my thing with G with who you you know who over here with me. That CEO little one hundred. And after we lost Z, it was like nah, bro, I gotta leave. Like we gotta get up out of here. Now I'm no scared shit, but on some shit like yeah, of if we finna make this dream come true and we finna keep his name living, like we gotta we gotta keep pushing. And it got quiet for a little minute. Like I used to go from getting a whole bunch of views going up to like my barely 20, 20 views on the video. And then Birdman wind up calling out of the blue. Like I swear to God, like called out of the blue and I went to Florida. Then from there I just, you know, kept working once again. But I had to get out of Memphis. Cause if not, I was gonna be dead. <laughs> I was gonna be dead to kill the motherfuckers. So it was either one or the other. So we got a better there. One hundred percent. Yeah. So Bird, so you you signed the um the, the Rich Gang or never signed to him. Never. Oh, so he just got reached out and this this helped you out. Basically, he got me going. He put me on a private jet. You know, link me up with Money Man. Like you know, he took care he took care of me while I was out there. I ain't gonna count like he he did good. It was he had a lot going on though. Of course. That was the stuff when Wayne, you know, they had their differences, and then you had greatness over here. You had a uh, another another young nigga from uh, New Orleans, like 
And he was an artist himself. So it was like, it was so much. So it got times where it was like, okay, okay, Stoner, like, we gonna do it today, we gonna do it. And it was like, okay, well, Storm was coming. He said he was gone. And I was like, okay, you gone? Okay, I'm finna head out too. And then we just went on in. Oh, went on so I, let, me, let me get this straight, because I'm over I'm thinking that <laughs> you just started doing, you've been doing this for a minute now. I've been doing music ever since I was, shit, six, six. 12, I made my first song. I recorded my first song in the studio. I was playing the piano before that. But other than that, I wow. was doing videos and I started recording process at 12. And then when I met Z, that's when I started getting in the studio, learning how to record myself mm. and learning how to do this cadence or that cadence and switch it up. You get mm. what I'm saying? 100%. Like, that's when I learned how to do it. But yeah, I've been doing it for basically, what's a decade? Like over 10 years, right? That's right. Yeah, I've been doing it for over a decade. Wow. Long time. Babies in our home. <laughs> yeah, that part. <laughs> yeah, I seen like, I, that was when I had, uh, was introducing you and I was talking about the whole babysitting thing. Yeah. I saw you rapping with the baby in your arms and whatnot. <laughs> and you were going off too, but yeah. and the baby wasn't bothered by none of that aggressive <laughs> stuff you were talking about. <laughs> yeah, you talking about Zariah. Yeah, that's my little girl. Yeah, yeah word, word, mm -hmm. word. That's what's up, man. So what motivates you? What, what, what inspires you? Um, Z off top, other than him. You have my children, and there's basically and the people that I die for that will motivate me like this. Eat. Like, I don't, I don't care about money. I don't care about materialistics. I don't, I don't care for none of it. Like, I don't care to be in the spotlight, none of it. I just like making music, and I just want my kids to be straight for a legacy to live on when I leave. I don't care about none of it. You a natural star. <laughs> Why you say that? I mean, you just like... Well, for one, the way you walked into the room today, <laughs> and you, you just glow, man. And then every, when I see you on screen and shit, mm -hmm. you know, uh, like I said before, when I was watching you on Instagram, on tip page and all that. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, I was like, who is this? <laughs> I appreciate it. I yeah, appreciate yeah, it. yeah. Yeah. And, and, and it, it fucked me up, too, because I was because it was that was my first time seeing you like a. I want to say this was like maybe two or three months ago. Whenever yeah. I had started following you. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was, I was like, um. Wow, we got another one. <laughs> yeah, man. We got Shout another one. Then I found out you did the, the, the P Valley song. Yeah. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> it's now, a lot of people that don't know, oh God. Really? Yeah, I, like I said, I ain't flashy like that. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't really do too much. There's a lot of people that do know of me. There's a lot of people that don't, but you know. They, they'll catch up. Yeah, they type stuff, yeah. They'll catch up, and uh, you know, you, yeah, you're extremely talented, man. I appreciate it. And uh, you know, I, I love your music. It's got, so you got so much range. You got Thank the, you. The rock and roll shit. Man, that yeah. was the hardest shit to do in my life. Really? I ain't gonna care. Put me on. Why, Two why? weeks. They, I did, okay, so this is when I was with Atlantic, and they was like, um, we got you a placement with, um, with, with this Harley Quinn movie. So they was like, wow. we want you to try this. And so I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. You get what I'm saying? And then I went in the studio, so I did it this way the first time, right? And they was like, they really tricked me, but it's like they knew what type of artist I was, so this how they got me to do it. So the first week they had me go in and do it this way. No cursing, no nothing. So I'm like, damn, like I really gotta go in and I gotta try something different, right? So I tried it that way. Then a week later, we went to Florida. And when we got to Florida, they was like, okay, we switched up the beat a little bit and they switched up the beat up on me. Anything going on? They switched up the beat up on me. And when they switched up the beat, I was like, okay, so in my state, they was like, just do what you feel and da da da. So I'm in there and I did it that way, bro, and I was like, like, y'all want me to scream? They was like, we don't care if it's distorted, anything, scream, do whatever you got to do, just let it come out. But they was like, be you on this one, though. Like, just be you, like all girls type stuff. So I went in with the, the what was it? Crack of the joke, hit up the spine, like I'm hit from behind. I was like, okay, so I'm adding the to it. Like, that's when I added that part on there. Mm -hmm. So then when it was finished, they collided both of the ones that I did together, and then it was on the movie, and I was like, Okay, <laughs> that's but crazy. it was different though. You, you like let me t that song is so dope. Yeah, you <laughs> can't you. even tell that like you a rapper on there. <laughs> oh God, yeah, it's 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 not it's it's bigger than that. Yeah, it's, it's big it's bigger than that. I, I thought you was a white girl on that song. 
<laughs> sound for real, even it's, with the way that I sounded. Really rock and roll. I that's the you thing. That like shit. I can't be in the box. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like one thing about me I can say is, if somebody give me a go, I'm doing it. Like mm. it ain't nothing that's gonna stop me. Mm. It ain't nothing. Now if I know I can't do it and I don't even want to put the energy in it, I ain't gonna do it. But I do it within motivation of like showing anybody they can do whatever because you can do whatever you put your mind to. I don't care what nobody say. You get what I'm saying? And so with that being said, you got in the country records. Hell yeah. You got some country records? That's what that's what got me, that's what got me my deal with uh with Sony. Like they heard everything else and then he he heard it and this and it wasn't even done. I did a spin on one of the country records and he was like, that's it. He was like, that's different. And I was like, really did like, and I swear to God, I had just dropped it the night before we went in for this meeting. And he was like, you need to finish it. Mm. And after that, I got mine, mine in the middle of a pandemic, six figures. You get what I'm saying? Like, over off of a song that wasn't even finished. And then I went to finish it. Like, all of it. Like, yeah, I tried all of this shit, bro. Like, I just like making music, like I said. Six figures. <laughs> <laughs> he like keep that on the you get what I'm saying but it was yeah like how you okay now people gonna be watching this <laughs> and like right now I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm probably off but it sounds like you two for two on TV oh you know what I'm saying making placements oh uh, I got how Insecure I got Madden also Madden the football game, yeah. You gonna stun on us like that? I know, I'm just throwing it you out there, you know, to let it be known, you know, <laughs> go check them jumps out, y'all. <laughs> you you on a video game? Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, what year was it? 2020? 2021. Yep, Madden 2021. They came to me and they said, well, we want you to make this type, so... We tried for that one, and I got that one, and then it was, uh, what movie was that? The Looney Tune movie? Space Jam. I submitted for that one, but I ain't get that one. I ain't get that one. I think I came in too late on that one, but Madden, I got that one for sure. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Man, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. I know I'm late as hell. No, nah, yeah. That's amazing. Like I said, I just make music. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's blessings that kind to me that I don't, I don't get online bragging about it. No, no, I'm grateful for it. You get what I'm saying? Like, I thank him for it. We talk about it, but I don't be just, you know. I'm cool. Hey, 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 cool. hey, hey I lo- I, I'm, 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 I'm glad that I didn't know just to, yeah. I'm naturally shocked right now. Yeah. I'm really, really happy for you. I appreciate it. But yeah, there's it. people going to be watching this, and they're going to be like w- wondering, yo, how I get my shit on m- <laughs> movies and get on video games? Because t- I don't even, I, I don't rap. Yo. But I want to be on a video game. No, nah, you I can. Get my you shit can. On there. No, like, okay, well, dealing with Sony, they, they gave, they gave us certain placements and okay. certain things to pitch to. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Um, but other than that, man, if you consistent enough, ain't no telling who, just like you came across me. You get what I'm saying? And I'm on your show. Mm. Like, consistency working and just putting it out there and not being afraid. Mm. You get what I'm saying? They gonna come your way. Mm. But if you look into it, like, yeah, they was the ones that, that set up there. But, like, P Valley came naturally. That's why I say consistency. Because you never know where any connection can come from and they can put you on this and put you on that. You get what I'm saying? It's gotcha. just working, period. And, hey, you throw it, I'm going to get it. <laughs> I ain't trying to get in your business, but I'm trying to oh, get cool. in your business. <laughs> so, like, when your shit come on P Valley every week, mm-hmm. is that like as if you were acting on the show and you get a check every time it come on? Yes, sir. Every time you hear it, every time it play. Every time they air it, I don't care if you seen it on your phone, on a commercial, every time it, it's coming to me. Yeah. Now, it don't come like right then and there that second, it build up. Oh, Let's okay. get that on the stuff. It don't get the cash app like real quick. No, nah, hell no. Nah, it ain't like a thing, thing. You got somebody, nah. <laughs> nah, it's a certain time where they cut, where they cut the check. Yeah. And when they cut the check, it's, it's nice. That's crazy. They ain't gonna cap, it's nice, but yeah. That TV money is something different. You got a boyfriend? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yes. <laughs> you ain't finna try to get my money and try and have me tricking man, off man, Mr. No, Peanut Butter. Man, man, check this out. Let, let. <laughs> <laughs> he like, he found, he heard that shit. He said, you got a boy. No. 
uh-uh, I ain't the cougar. Uh-uh. Yeah, okay, I, I, I'm just checking you. You don't know unless you shoot that motherfucker. I love it. You, you don't know unless you, you got the goddamn, you, it's like lottery. You, if you don't play, you can't win because you might have would have said, yeah, I trick off on you. What if you just said, yeah? You know what I'm saying? I got, a, I got that shit, put my shot out there. God damn. They had it go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So when you first started getting that 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 money, mm-hmm. what, was, what was the first thing you bought that was crazy? What you like? All right, it's time. I got to do this. <laughs> what, what was that guilty pleasure? Um, I mean, first first and foremost, of course, I got me a house. I okay. got me a house and car. I had to do that for the kid. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Now after yeah. that, I cashed out on a little Bentley, you know, and I and I wind up fucking it up. I ain't oh, had wait, wait. for six Do that again. months. I got a Bentley. I got a Bentley, and then we got a Maserati. We make the, we wrecked the Maserati the second week after we got it, damn near. And we, then I went to get the we, Bentley. What y'all were doing, some Chris Brown, Rihanna shit in that No, one? my God, no. We was in Miami and seeing some crazy people on the bus. To this day, I didn't forget it. Some crazy people was out there, and they didn't know how to drive. And we got in the car wreck, and I got out. I'm talking about I'm walking up on the butt like, y'all stupid. Like, I'm mad because I'm talking about we cash. Like, I'm, bro, straight cash for the Mozzie. Two weeks later, it was just like gone. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> so then we went to get the Bentley, and I got that, and I kept it up for a couple of, for a couple of months, and I messed up. And then I got a G-Wag, and I ain't really like it, and then I just went and stayed. Nigga, you rich. I stayed with, no. Bro, insurance. Please stay insured. You get what I'm saying? Insurance goes a long way, and that's God, what went damn. with it. <laughs> but other than that, uh, of course, so when Jig invested in the studio. Okay. Like Pro Tools, all of that, and with me knowing how to record myself, that was the best investment we could ever make. Like I got the studio sitting outside right now. I can record whenever I want to on the road, in the bathroom, anywhere I want to. You get what I'm saying? So that was a smart investment. But then I went to go and get me a rolling. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Let's go back to the studio real yeah. quick. You said you got the studio outside right now and you can do it in the Apollo bathroom? Apollo MacBook, man, I'm telling, like, yeah, like recording on the road, like, yo, we be on the road, like, on tour, like, and I set that beat. You get one of them car chargers, they got the little plug thing up in it. You plug that up, you plug the Apollo up. We got the mic sitting right here in between mine and went through drive throughs and everything set up. Like, just had these mics sitting in front of me, like, yeah. Like, I work, bro. Like, it's it's therapeutic for me. You get what I'm saying? Nah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> like, yo, we like we travel with our setup. That was the best investment I could ever make. People be paying for studio time, da-da-da. Nah, that was the best investment that he could have made and that we did together. Like. Swear to God, and to know how to work it and do it, like people don't know so the songs I'm putting out. Yourself. Yeah, wow. I, I'm trying. I, I ain't gonna say I'm a pro at mixing, but I mix my songs. I I do all of it. I'm making beats now too. Does that give you a different vibe in the car as opposed to being in a booth? Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say it give it a different vibe. It it does make it to the point where you got to turn down the mic type shit. Like it's quieter. I smoke. So sometimes I had a window down. So in certain songs you could hear yeah. it. Mm-hmm. But with 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 dealing with Jig again, uh the chaotic ball, that's how you pronounce it. That's chaotic how you pronounce eyeball. it. Yeah, the eyeball. Mm-hmm. Can't hear nothing. You get what I'm saying? What? What? You said the, the eyeball. Yeah, it's called the <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, is it someone he like? <laughs> You're funny. It's called a, it's called a chaotic eye. Like it's a, it's a ball. And it look like I guess it's supposed to look like a little eye because on the middle part of it, it's like you can take the little piece out and the mic is in there, so it will go up in the hole and then it cover up. I need another eye. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna <laughs> I don't think that one can fit. That ain't gonna fit. It ain't. It's 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 like that. Nigga, if I can like, start recording out my eye, I'm gonna be ahead of the game. Ah, oh God, let's do it. Let's see if we can make some. Hell yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we I record with that and it it's just it's I wouldn't say it's a different vibe. It's just good to have. You get what I'm saying? Especially like when somebody call and be like, yo, we need you on this or we want you to do this feature. And it's like, okay, I got you. I'm you gonna have it by tonight. Spot on. You send that right. motherfucker right back. What? Spot on. Straight line, foul station, everything. You get what I'm saying? Snapping. Like, 
bro. Like, I'm going to work. I'm going to work. Like, he be trying to get me to, like, he, you know, he, I have my times where I'm supposed to spend with my family and this and that, but, man, if I can, I'm going to stay in the studio. Every time I book a studio, I'm in there 10 hours straight. Mm. Like, I don't, bro, music is, like, I breathe it. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's the only thing that make everything feel better. Yeah, especially when you're driving Maseratis and D-Wagons and... <laughs> I, but good. then I, I calm down. I, once I once I found out what that life hit like, you get what I'm saying? Cause you know times get slow at a certain point. Yeah, yeah. And I found out what the worth of a of a rolling chains and all of this shit is. Cause I had to sell mine. Yeah. So it yeah. was like. Yeah. Now talk about that part. People I don't talk dropped, about this part. Man, I swear to God, I dropped, bro. I dropped. I dropped close to twenty thousand. No, 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 no. Was that on that? No, that was on something else. I dropped close to fifty thousand. For the rollie that I had. <laughs> and times got slow. And I couldn't, even, I couldn't even see, I couldn't damn near even see half of it cashing it. Because wow. it was a bust down. If wow. I would have got the original and just kept it regular, it would have been worth more. But because it was a bust down, it wasn't worth shit no more. And I wish I would have known. Like, you hear folks and sons and you like, oh, they on all of that. All of that political and... You know, all of that mm. small shit. And I'm like, these folks ain't talking about shit. Mine no folks told me. They was like, oh, no, we, we can only give you this for this. I said, mine, but I, I got the receipt. Like, this bitch got his own social security. You get what okay. I'm saying? Like, and they like, nah, it ain't, it ain't that. So I was like, damn. Like, now I know. You get what I'm saying? Second 100%. go around, now I know. And I know what I spend my money on and what I deal with and what I want. Mm -hmm. No more, but yeah. That, I say that was the dumbest thing that I ever bought in my life. Now, now, now let me let me ask you this question. Uh -huh. Now, when you are buying the jewelry, because uh -huh. you, I I remember when I uh, I first um when I was first start like seeing my, my boy uh, Le Duval get money and he <laughs> buying jewelry. Uh -huh. You know, this probably back in '03 when we was on the road, or something like that. And and he and he he saying, "All right, this shit gets you more money." Because uh -huh. when people see that. You, you know what I'm saying? You got this. They know if I'm asking for this, then I get that. So they'll know that they got to pay me that. Did you feel like when you you had got that jewelry that you was able to demand more too because, you know what I'm saying, people recognized that you had it? Or this is just, once again, this bucket back in 03, 04, 05. No, I mean. Is it a different time now? Time's changing. No, I get what you're saying. Mm -hmm. uh, money respect money. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I wouldn't say it made more people fuck with me or do anything because you even got people that they don't care about your money. That's another thing. You yeah. got people that got money that really don't care about your money because they got money. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Or uh, I can say that as far as a look go, it made certain people feel like, oh, yeah, she up type shit. Mm -hmm. But I, it, I, I, it's tit for tat if you get what I'm saying. Like, I can say that with certain shows, yeah, it was like, damn, she on that big ass chain. Like, who is this? You get what I'm saying? Like, it catches people's attention, mm. but it's still, it's still going to play. Like, um, you know, like certain people fuck with it, certain people don't. Cause I've been told also, like, certain people relate to you more if you don't have on chains. Mm. But it's like, it's the attitude that you have on when you, when you were, if you ask me. Mm. You get what I'm saying? 100%. Now, if you flashy with that shit. Then it's gonna show you ain't never had shit. It's gonna let a motherfucker know that they can still lowball you with having them chains on mm -hmm. and everything else. But when you, you know, you just cool and you just got it on like motherfucker gonna see. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's a different type of respect. But I mean, it teaches on for different people if you get if you get what I'm saying. Depending like, on what you want, right? Yeah, like and what people are looking for. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it was people calling like booking shows after that because they feel like I was on. And then for other people, it's like you go around other rappers, it's like it's a certain respect. Because it's like, okay, well, at least I know this person ain't coming around because they got the Jews and they own, so they don't got to worry about my shit or right. me having to give a handout. Right. So that's why I say it can, it can go with either or. And, but it's still about the person who wearing it and how they're presenting it. I ain't never been flashy with none of this shit, and I feel like that's why most people, when I come in contact with them, it's respected. Like, it ain't just like... Oh, Juicy, you doing it? Like, nah. Like, if it hurts somebody, they, it only hurt them because they a hater. Because if they supported me, it's going to make them happy. Like, 
yeah, she doing what, you get what I'm saying? And she ain't just out here doing all of that with it. Mm, mm. Yeah, like I appreciate everything that I work for. Mm. And I don't just put it in people's face. So it go for different people, but it do. It come with a, a certain type of respect, though. I can't say that. Mm, if mm. it's real. Let me make sure. The, if it's real, eh? if it's real, yeah. But if it's some flaw shit and somebody catch it, nah, man. They, nah, they are Nah, they're yeah, I, I got called out by my shit before. I was on Drink Champs one time. I had it. No. I, 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 I thought it was an Audemars. Yeah. Yeah, but it was an Audemars. It was an Audemars or Audemars. Oh, Audemars. It ought to be in. Yeah. But yeah, they, they, Jada Kids caught me slipping, and yeah, they, they got on me real good on that episode. I did. What was it? But, uh, what is it? Watch Busters or something? But... Um, nigga just busted me. Yeah, they, they, they just busted me and shit, you know. And nigga was like, man, so, so what you mean to tell me you paid 50000 for it? No, I paid 500 for it. it was, <laughs> I thought it was on sale. <laughs> I thought it was on sale. I can't. I, I, I saved, uh, saved about, like, you know what I'm saying, at least $39,500. 39, yeah. 39500 <laughs> You should have known. Yeah, I, you should have known. They it, they'll get you though. There's some some of them will get I you. I wore like it that. for like a good seven years. Ain't nobody say shit. Yeah, <laughs> cause they probably didn't know. Yeah, yeah. And then keep my keep my. I'm hanging around fifty and all these other, and I'm on wilding out and shit. So yeah. you you not thinking that I'm wearing some fake shit? I'm, cause I'm not thinking that. But I, I wasn't gonna goddamn buy no goddamn forty thousand dollars watch either. Though. Yeah, I mean it's smart. It, hey. Yeah, yeah. Hey, now, you know I what they know, say? It, fake it, it till you make it. No, I wasn't trying to, I thought I had real, I thought I was real until I was feeling it. I, I thought it was real. Yeah. Yeah, it was real fake. Yeah, yeah, it was real fake. Like, it, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know. You I, just got to know how to work it if you actually. I got, I, I had got a lot of pussy on that watch. <laughs> but I always round, I was always round like niggas that wasn't doing well, so, yeah. you know, too. So it, it depends on where you be at. Yeah. Because when the camera go off, then I'm back in the hood. Yeah. Yeah, so the niggas around me, they think I'm... Yeah, Why would that be fake? <laughs> Why would he be wearing some fake shit? <laughs> and I was thinking the same thing. Why would I be wearing some fake you shit? Gotta, but you got to be safe with that, too, because yeah. it'll be some fake shit, and then the motherfucker be thinking it's real, and then had you... No, I shot a nigga before. No. <laughs> I almost got robbed for my fake shit. About. But had I have known, Yo. I would have just gave it to yeah, him. Yeah, like, nigga, you get... <laughs> yeah, I done almost killed this nigga by accident. Yo. Because he was trying to rob me for some shit. shit that was some fake shit. I, I fuck with I had no idea. Yo. But if I would have known... Because I'm not really into that. Yeah. I just thought I caught a good deal. Yeah. Like these, I wonder why nobody else don't know about it. 125th Street. Nah, you gotta, nah, <laughs> these days you gotta be careful. You got, you got this shit, they got this shit where it pays the diamond tag. They, they got all of this shit. Like you gotta be very, very careful. Because the motherfucker finish you for sure. Yeah, it, it, was, it was 500. So I was like, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> it was, You weren't thinking nothing of it. It was 500. That's crazy. I spent 500 at Spun Divots before. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, I ain't gonna lie, that shit good. Yeah, for, <laughs> for a goddamn, what, what they call that shit that I get all the time? The shark platter. I, I ain't never the had that. Before. I had the crab legs, though. It no, you gotta eat. get the shark platter. I try. It's, it's got five different crab legs on there. Yeah. It got five different scrimps on there. Okay. And uh, you get uh, uh, 24 oysters, steamed oysters. Yeah. Yeah, and, and some tuna. And all, when you when they bring that motherfucker over to the table, yeah. they, well, you probably don't care about this, but the holes in there be going crazy. Oh, shit. <laughs> like that nigga just like like it's the bottles with the spark. Yeah, it's it's the, it was like that. I was like, why do you, why everybody ain't ordering this shit? Okay. I mean, it it was it was bitches fine bitches on dates and shit. <laughs> Bad bitches on dates was like, why Ooh. you ain't ordering that for us? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, why why? This nigga over here eating all this shit by you himself. You was over there stunned on the air. I was stunned on the air, but I was just doing what I like. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's what my pro I was. I cared more about food than I did my jewelry. <laughs> and whatnot. That, and that's how I thought about it. I can't. Because I, ne I never was turned on by, you know, jewelry and shit like that. Yeah. Or, or whatnot, too tough. And well, especially when you told me, told me that goddamn uh, shit, if you're gonna be 50,000 or, or something, 150,000, like nigga. No, nah, I'm feeling like I'm up. I'm like, man, nigga, I I'm wanna do something for my birthday. I wanna go ahead, give me what I've been rapping about in these songs. You ain't been rocked before ball. then. Huh? You haven't been rocked before then. If you ever been to the script club and then spent 2,500 on a bitch that ain't do nothing but kiss you on your forehead, <laughs> it be making you look at money a little bit different. Like, man, what the <laughs> 
<laughs> it's written in the motherfucker. See it? All I did was just finger this bitch and about to get evicted. I don't see it. <laughs> Some bullets. Uh, my house didn't be raw, but as far as somebody walking up on me and nah, ain't nobody ever played yeah, with she us. She didn't put a gun that. on me. She just said, "Hey, let me get that." Or be for I, I ain't been finessed out of nothing like that. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> I thought this bitch liked me. I thought it was, it was over after she. You paid twenty five hundred. Like, I paid twenty five hundred for nothing. <laughs> for nothing. But you just sat up here and said you had thirty five dollars, so you paid her twenty five hundred. She said we was gonna be together, and I was the one, and I believed her. <laughs> You know how to this must be like in the beginning stages of you moving around. This was yeah, this is a magic city. I'm like, oh, okay, seven, yeah. I'm like 17 years it's old. Is that part? Yeah, yeah. This don't nothing, don't nothing close to that happen now. <laughs> you got to fuck me before we do anything now. We don't go to the movies. Like we need to understand it before anything. Yeah, what, before like I get the cash out. Like what I need from you is understanding. Like escape, goddammit. <laughs> Can we communicate? Hey, I mean, these days you have women that that's basically that's all they want to do anyway. So they, hey, more power to them. Hey, hey, no, no, <laughs> shout out to I deserve that bullshit. <laughs> when I look back on it, I'm like, damn, if a motherfucker that robbed me without a gun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, 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 I deserve. Yeah. You gotta be careful though, cause, yeah, yeah. Then, cause being a female and doing that to certain certain niggas to go back and get their money. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And that's why I never played them type of. I ain't never been no shysty, no shysty female. Not saying that that's you know, cause people gonna do what they do, and if you go for the finance, you go for it. If you go for it, you go but, for it. But nah, you gotta be careful though, and if you and if you is playing them type of game, you gotta make sure you you ready to go. You, you don't go when it's time for it, cause you gotta stand on it when it comes time for it. <laughs> nah, hell, nah. I don't like to get embarrassed, so I couldn't see myself doing it. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, <laughs> I, I waited for that bitch all night, and then she never came. I was sitting out by this Uber and the shit, you know. And, like, hey, man, oh shit! He said, "Hey, sir, it's, it's like two hundred fifty dollars now." Be out in a minute. I don't know what though this bitch went out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she got the back door on your ass. Yes. My son, she probably changed the wig and anything. Changed, yeah. I probably, cause I'm, I, I, women be looking different than yeah, a mother. Mm. Yeah, especially me. I'll just take you a little makeup and some yeah. wig in the yeah. wig. They she change. probably walked right past my ass. Change I ain't even know. Outfits change. They so they take <laughs> off the heels and change. They height. Oh God! Yep. So you looking for the wrong height? I'm looking for the wrong. Different she got glasses hair. on and everything. Yeah, everything. Now. <laughs> yeah. Different skin tone yeah. and everything. She came out with a whole face tattoo. You yeah. don't even. You don't even fucking know. It's set, it set up just like Vegas. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't nothing to tell time with this back in the day. Ain't it no ain't way for you to tell it. time. Ain't no windows, so you lose track of time. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, you got bright lights and pretty things with skin mm -hmm. walking around you. And yep. it's low light. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And she, it's if motherfucker crazy. had followed me by like three weeks later and shit, they say, like, when you coming back to KOD? <laughs> Uh, never, bitch. <laughs> he like, bitch, if I come up there, I'm getting my money back. For hey, bitch ain't answering none of my phone calls but DMing me. Oh, shit. Like, why you ain't, why, why you ain't text me this shit? Hey, man, you got you got to learn one day, though. Yeah, Everybody get this one type of way. I ain't going to cap. It happens. See? You dribble, you shoot, you hope for the best. <laughs> you work. get what I'm saying? Let's talk inspirations, man. Like, like, who did you look up to growing up? Um, so my sister and them, they, uh, okay, so we grew up in the church. Let me let that be known. You, so, not you. Nah. I can see that. Nah, straight Christian. Like, we real talk about mama and them, they raised me right. I ain't go against the grain, you know. Not too much. When I started getting older, though, it was, uh, hey, it had I let some shit slide. <laughs> but, um, my sisters and them, they had me on, like, Destiny's Child. What? Oh, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> What the? No, they, no, like Jazz, Jazz was the soprano, Jessica was the alto with me. My mama was, uh, she was alto tenor. You um, was in the choir? Yeah, like real talk, I hear so Because you sing so well. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. I just, uh, the rapping just, for certain people they say it hit different, so I just do the rapping, but yeah. I like singing a lot. Yeah, I, I know you <laughs> tell, you see his eyes is on the sparrow up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they had me, I still can't remember to this day, I gotta ask my mama, but they had me do a song, and when they heard me singing, they was like, we need you to do it, and I did it. Um, But, so you had, you had Destiny's Child, you had all the R&B stuff, Rihanna, Rihanna mm -hmm. Unfaithful, mm -hmm. that was my shit, I ain't gonna count, like, Unfaithful was, 
That was it. Like, I used to do that, you know, when you have uh, Christmas and Thanksgiving, like, we used to have talent shows. Swear to God, it was always my junk. I'd be on the wall, everything, fireplace, everything. So, of course, you got Rihanna, uh, Drake, Wayne, yeah, 50 Cent, bruh. Bruh, 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 the movie, everything. Like, I was, I was on all of it. But those were my top. Jay-Z, of course, I heard of him. I just, he, he was too small. Still too small, so it's like certain songs you had to play back. But most of my ins inspiration came from from those, you know, other than Three C's Mafia, A Ball, MJG, uh, Gangsta Boo, you know, Rest Peace, Gangsta Boo, Lil Chat. We had all of them. Who else can I think of, bro? Because we used to listen to everything. Like, my sisters had me on, like, Maroon 5. They had me on Gorilla. Like, they had me on all different stuff, and that's why it's easy for me to experiment with different Got you. sounds type stuff. But, but anything you can really name, like, all of this stuff, like, I didn't I didn't hear it all. I didn't listen to it before. So you come from a musical family. Yes. My grandma plays the organ. Really? My uncle, my uncle, my uncle, like, he, you know, he, he screamed, but he respected it, but he know how to play the piano, and he the reason why I wanted to play the piano. Because um, even though my grandma can play the organ and know how to read notes and stuff, I can't read notes, and mm. I don't think he could neither. So mm. I learned how to play by ear just like he could. Mm. So that was one of the things. But yeah, I, my whole family, all of us good with music. Like, swear to God, like, it's crazy. Like, all of us, everybody do music that you could think of. Well, that I know of in my family, for sure. I just found out that I might possibly be related to B.B. King. But if that is so, you know, it's in the blood. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, like... Everybody, they if they don't do music, they got a talent where they doing something that's, you know, that I'm pretty sure I done picked up on as in growing up, for sure. I love B.B. King. I used to, uh, when I was living in New York, and I seen him a couple of times. Yeah. You know, uh, at B.B. King's, it's, it's club. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, at B.B. King's and stuff. But I know you, you, you Memphis, so I know you didn't seen the best of them come through there. I mean. Bill Street, right? Yeah. Bill Street. <laughs> Bill Street is, yeah, Bill Street, Bill Street, it's cool. That's where, that's where my youngest son, Daddy Head, got killed this, so I don't really mess off down there no more. Mm. But, yeah, Bill Street was fun when it was fun. I ain't gonna cap. Mm. Yeah. Now, we didn't talk about this, mm -hmm. but I said something about it in the intro. Uh-huh. Juicy Fruit. Uh-huh. Talk about this name. <laughs> like, I mean, I know this is one of the most popular questions people ask you and everything, but I, I hadn't heard the Juicy Fruit story yet. Oh, okay, so Juicy Fruit was my first tattoo that I got tatted on me. It was somewhere where I know my mama wasn't gonna see it. What's it where that at? I ain't gonna, it's on my butt. I ain't gonna care if I got Juicy then Fruit. It's a lot, but that's where it's at. It, it, the only reason why it was put there, like I said, because I was like 16, 17 when I got the tattoo, even though I wasn't supposed to be getting it, I got it. But the name originated from um, the Fruit Loops. I mean, Fruit Part came from my daddy used to call me Fruit Loops from the movie uh, Hair Bake, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And the old lady, she used to call them Fruit Loops. Gotcha. You get know what I'm saying? Yep, so yep, yep. he would say that when he was being funny with us. And the Juicy Part came from basically everybody, I guess you can say on like my mama's side and stuff like my aunties and stuff, they used to call me Juicy because of my cheeks. Like, I had a baby face, still got a baby face to this day, so, yeah. I know, me too. <laughs> you know, them jaws so different. <laughs> so, I just put them together, and I spelt it different because around my time, when I was in middle school, bro, like, everybody had the juicy with the cherries, and I got sick of seeing it. So, I was like, okay, well, this one I'm finna call myself, and this one I'm finna go with. And we, we drew out the picture up in church, and then I went and got it tatted, and then... It was dead up on that, and I stuck with the name. Like, I stuck with it. And I ain't changed it for nobody. <laughs> do you, do you uh, like the gum? I hate when folks say it, because it's like, <laughs> bro, like, the gum be scraped, bro. It just loses its taste, and I really wish Real I could bad. get an endorsement with them and be like, you still can. Let me Let me try and add some ingredients, because, you know, <laughs> I'm promoting y'all. <laughs> you, you but nah, the gum is good shit. to me, if you ask me. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't submit it. All the, <laughs> got in all the other movies. I, I'm not going to be surprised if you get a Juicy Fruit fucking deal. I mean, I ain't against it. Hey, if, if they hit me up, you get one Submit it the same way you submitted to get on Madden. <laughs> 
I'm still having a hard time believing you on Madden. I swear, go look it up. This is one no, called Chippy. I believe you. I swear to God. I'm hating. <laughs> they, they came, they came, they came to us like they just pitched it. You get what I'm saying? Like mm. I said, if somebody give me a goal to reach, I'm gonna do it. Mm. You want know, cause it, it just feels good and it, it's good to do it because you're motivating and showing your kid, like, yeah, if my mom can do it, I for sure can do it. It's in me. <laughs> Man, I'm uh, I'm manifesting that for you. Yo, <laughs> you get yeah, you get that. Get your own juicy fruit, the strand. Of, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, you that'll be dope. You have your juicy yeah. fruit strand of weed. Yeah, mm. what? Whoa. Come on, you know we got we got little stuff up in the works. Just wait on. Okay, okay, man. Tell them what else you got going on, cause I know you got some more famous shit, man. It's... Yeah, I mean I'm working. Uh, I got new videos coming out. Should be coming out with a with a new like body of work. Let's name it that. Mm -hmm. Um, after dealing with Atlantic. Um, me and T.I. still kicking it. You get what I'm saying? But I'm still living an independent life. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I got songs coming out with uh, Ty Dolla Sign. Uh, I got another record with IDK, other than the junk that we got out now. Wow. It's our Santana. You working? Um, so, you know, we just working and moving. That's, but that's mostly, for right now, that's mostly it. I'm just putting our music, working, and getting back into the gist of making shit go. Man, I'm really <laughs> proud of you, man. And I, I, once again, I want to thank you for coming to my show and blessing you know, us today with your it. presence. <laughs> Uh, your story is amazing. Thank you. Your music is amazing. Mm -hmm. You are a gorgeous young lady. We over here, are we praying for you? We rooting for you. Appreciate and whatnot. it. And I hope you come back and, uh, you know what I'm saying, we do a follow-up. For sure. Soon. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, God, I appreciate you for having me on my soul. Show sure enough, show sure enough. <laughs> is there anything you want to say to New Jack Thriller City, man, before we get up out of here? Hey, man, make sure that y'all go full with my guy, man. He brought me on the show. We turned up. I'm ready for anything else that come our way, and hopefully we get to turn up again. You get what I'm saying? Before the year over with, let's go. Lord 100, forever fly, boy. Let's get it. <laughs> hey, like I always say, you just can't say you really something you got to be, man. We open, we out of here, man. <laughs> hey, Juicy Fruit, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>